Hello everyone. Today uh, I am try to cover up the all detail about CSC scholarships 2019 Chinese government scholarship for international students which starts from December 2018 to April 2019 but different universities has different deadlines. This program is open for the all international students who are interested to begin their next academic journeys in bachelor, master, and PhD academic program in any Chinese universities. What is CSC scholarship? There are 279 Chinese universities offering scholarships for international students every year. The link of the list of universities under Chinese government scholarships are given below. That is the link where you can search and check one by one your all universities are subject wise universities you can uh, search and check on that website uh, i will show you at the end of this video oh, ways to apply in csc there are two ways to apply in these scholarship one chinese government scholarships through universities and the other one is through diplomatic relations like your chinese embassies Students don't need to consult and pay money to any agent consent if someone claims so he is fake and doing illegal activity so focus on that point don't consult with any consultant or agents fields are program almost all fields are offered in this program for master and phd as well as for bachelor engineering medical management law social science and etc general procedure to apply step 1 find some good university having your department and is affiliated with cgs plus of chinese government scholarship here is the subject wise universities link under csc at this link you can check subject wise all universities i will show you at the end of this video step 2 contact with professors of the university and request him her to accept you as a student email list of professor link is given below Uh, how to email to professor professor here is the structure how to mail and convince a professor who gave you acceptance letter for your uh, further studies for example subject you can request for the research and the ms supervision uh, respected professor if you know him her name otherwise you can write here dear sir or madam i hope you are doing well and there is a good health my name your greetings your education your achievements and your further interest about related to his research then you can convince her to check your resume and your other transcripts or educational documents to review and uh, give you a uh, acceptance letter step 3 fill a csc online application form through chinese government scholarship login recommended link for the csc online session form for students is that is link which uh, on where you have to fill your application form many students face many problems to complete uh, application form on this link i will show you at the end of this video how to prepare your application on this uh, online portal there are two categories of scholarships category 1 select if you are applying to embassy category b if you are applying to university at this time you have to select category b because you are applying to university recommended step 4 complete physical examination required for chinese scholarships chinese have their official and fixed template for the physical examination record you can download it from the Uh, below link from this link uh, you can download the examination form uh, physical examination form and sign it to your doctors your physician and other related step 5 take the print and complete the list of the following documents note it that and post it to the university address through dhl tcs etc with tracking id most important point for this attest it your all education documents from the tri republic like you can say that notarization or attestation form ibcc or uh, hcc documents list as you know you have all about your documents notarized documents of your final degree your educational certificates your matric sample of recommendation letter official medical form uh, which is signed from uh, by physical examination and above on the uh, doctor 
and your study plan, research proposal, copy of passport, acceptance letter. Some universities also have their own online application system. On so besides CSE scholarships online application, you must also fill out an online admission form of that Chinese university. Many universities demand that there are separate application. One is on CSE application form and other is on their university website. After that, you have to make above uh, two uh, applications to print and send them on their postal address through your DHL, uh, edX, Pakistan Post, TSS and TCS, OCS and other many uh, courier services. Some questions are asking about the scholarships which I have noticed in comment section and uh, in my personal inbox text and my on my WhatsApp that I have discussed in this video. What are your chances to win a scholarship? It totally depends on your previous grade, effective research proposal or study plan. You have bright chances to win this scholarship if you focus on your these documents. Other one, can I apply for more than one university? Yes, you can apply. Many applications will increase your chances to select for CSC. What if I don't have acceptance letter? Don't worry, acceptance letter is not mandatory, not mandatory, but it is a plus point which can increase your chances to be a selected student for this scholarship. Can a student apply on HOPE certificate? Obviously, yes, you can apply on HOPE certificate with latest transcript. For this, should we have any language test like IELTS, uh, HSK, uh, which means uh, Chinese language test? Uh, TOEFL, GRE and many others. No, you should have only your English proficiency letter. You can apply for this scholarship. Can international student work on part time? Yes, you can, but you will need a NOC letter from your supervisor. Let me show you, which I have discussed that. Here is the link which I have mentioned in my previous video. There are 279 China universities admitting Chinese government scholarships. Here is one by one. You can see that all of these universities which are entering CSE scholarship are mentioned here. You can check one by one. All of these. At this site, you can check many other documents or other important documents like uh, I have discussed uh, physical examination, English proficiency, email letter, email format and many other modes. You can check one by one here. Now come to the online application form. Here is the online application system for CSE. You can search here, you can select here a language where you want to uh, submit your application in English for international students or if Chinese then you can select here like I, if I am selecting here you can say that it will be in Chinese, it will show in a Chinese portal but if you click on English, uh, it will appear in the English automatic portal like you can see. If you have account, then simply you should uh, log in here. But if you don't have an account or you don't know how to make account and application, then simply create an, an account. Click on the create an account. It will show you a registration form, username. You can type here your name, Muhammad Usman, email address. Password which you want to write here, confirm password, verification code U Z S D, submit. Here you will write your username, your email address, your password, and the click on that. It means that you username already exists. It is saying that username is already exist. If you have not again, then simply uh, register here. Otherwise, sign in to apply. Right? Let me. Similar form. Password. Verification code. Sign in.
finally it has been done my online application has been accessed to the online application now here is a total instructions of the chinese government scholarships international students for international students step one here on if when you will um, access on your online application form you will see that the top of the first page of this portal is instructions of the chinese government scholarship information system uh, that is uh, guideline how to start your step one fill the correct program category and agency number agency number is the university website number which is nominated in chinese government by numbering a university chinese government number let me show you here is a university let's suppose uh, and how agricultural university when you will click on this university website it will show you uh, its agency number let me show you here agency number of an high agriculture university is 10364 10364 is the agency number of that university second option agency number fill in the online application form and upload supporting documents truly check each of your application part before submitting it you can make changes to your application by clicking withdraw or edit but if you will withdraw your application then you have to submit it again your application will be removed from your this online application portal you can download and print the applicated application form by clicking print application form send the paper application form and other supporting documents to the dispatching number let us let come to start our online application form online applic when you will click on the application online now here category b is automatic selected because you are applying for a uh, university through here is the agency number which you will select for your university if you are changed then you can select here and change your agency number Here you will select your type, your agency number, your Sichuan University where you want to apply your application and here is your some uh, uh, buttons where you can select it and download your print applications form, withdraw and edit your application, select first of all application then you will, when you will select your on that point uh, here is mentioned that uh, as a positive sign when you will click your information will be in uh, front of you like given name Muhammad Usman, surname uh, Muhammad Usman, Muhammad, but write your name here which is mentioned on your passport or identity card, Chinese name, you don't have Chinese name, date of birth, gender, uh, marital, single religions, Islam, Buddha, uh, Armand Nations, uh, Christians, uh, city of birth, country of birth, nationality, native language, your passport number, expirations, telephone number, facts, it is not mandatory, your email address, and your permanent address like the one Waligali, ward number bar and teacher Kaluni, Alipur, District, Mirafragar, Punjab, Pakistan. This is my own home address. Again, current telephone number, your email address, and same as above. When you will click on that point of the plus of your education and employment history, it will show you the top of your education, highest education, institution's name, University of Gujarat. Uh, field of study chemical engineering qualification bsc bs bs honor bba uh, and etc you can write here which you uh, feel better from your application uh, years attended two years completed institutions name for uh, fse like second educations uh, inter metric pre engineering fse uh, intermediate attended and to law similarly for your uh, higher secondary education uh, for metric, school, field of science, pandit and blah blah. That is your employment history, your experience, your internships. You can write here your professional experience which will increase your chances to apply in that scholarship. After that, you will when you click on that on the languages, you can select Chinese proficiency they are asking. You can type here none level because you have select none, then there is not you can write some. English proficiency, you can say, you can write here good, fluent, medium and intermediate which you feel better about you. No, 
medium of learning was english here you can write medium of learning your medium of substitution was english if you don't have your ielts and toefl or other english test applying for your master's degree english uh, discipline engineering plum plum uh, ever studied or worked in china no other contacts other contacts you can write here other contacts if you have other contacts for your assistant like in china or in pakistan if you want to tell here you can write here your father's name their age uh, their uh, occupations and your mother name as well as supporting documents that point is the most important this is mentioned here but uh, focus on or remember your documents should be attested or notarized from a notarized public office like first of all passport you can type here yes certificate of highest degree notarized copy transcript of the highest education study plan or your research proposal to recommendations letter passport home page physical examination record or medical report papers or article published are to be published if you have any research publications in international journals or national journals you can put here you can say here they will increase your chances to select a uh, to reserve a seat for you example of the art a music a video a audio tape flam flam that is for musically and fine art students other supporting documents like you have professional experience you have other educational or curricular certificates like your societies your competitions and many other language qualification at the last more language qualification they are asking for your ielts toefl ielts toefl or hsk or many other but you can uh, put here your english proficiency certificate if you don't have any english language test after that when you will save it here is a button where you will see withdraw and edit the application will submit application like please fill out the all information step by step until the application status is submitted the application status is in progress it means that this is not a complete and a submitted application that's why it's showing that in progress but i have submitted my previous application that is uh, that's why it is showing that in progress because it is in uh, progress for the further Uh, my screening uh, there uh, my screening education my screening application and after that you can uh, click on the submit after submission you will click on print the application form you can uh, i think the net is very slow and it is like you can say as the icon is uh, moving now here is a Uh, documents will be uh, printed yes members see here this is my application which i have filled on the csc application form this is automatic filled application form print it and attach your documents to and post it to the educational your institution postal address for further information or queries if, if you have any question about this then contact me or comment in my video or comment on my videos or in my facebook group or mail me on my email address you muhammad185@gmail.com